Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to Chris with the Sea. Hope you're all doing well. Thank you very much for joining me today, guys. We're out with the Armour Creighton EXB version 2. Um, I've come to a little bash spot. Some of you might recognize the location. Um, basically, you're here to test out some of the changes I've done to the car and see if everything's all kind of working properly and, and basically just gonna let let it rip a bit um we got some tarmac here we got some rough ground um all the changes fingers crossed i'm hoping are really gonna make a difference now um i did have a comment on one of the videos you know are all the changes that's happened to the car necessary no they're not guys no they're not it it was still an awesome vehicle anyway but um like everything i do i like to upgrade and i like to kind of make the car my own and enjoy it for, uh, for what it is i do like wrenching i do like upgrading and then i also like running the cars as well so yo it is what it is we make the hobby your own and i do enjoy the side of making each car your own so um right head cam on let's dive down let's talk about the changes we've done to the car and uh shove a battery in and start ripping i'll see you in a second come on then Right guys, I'm a Creighton EXB version 2. Um, as you know, there's tons gone on with this car. Now, I will go top to toe basically what, with what I've done to the car, just so everyone actually knows. Um, there might be a few people who haven't actually seen the videos new to the channel. Um, first of all, version 2 RTR. Um, I have fitted Vitavon hubs front and rear. We have got custom RC upgrades, chassis braces, uh, Vitavon um steering support bracket uh vitavon um diff mount and motor mount well i have also fitted a hobby wing max 8 g2 system uh 4278 2250 kv motor now running on a 15 tooth pinion with a 40 mil surpass rocket fan adu hinge pin holders front and rear We've also got a Vitavon diff case, all right, for the rear of the vehicle. Uh, M2C carbon fibre chassis guards, Garage Life RC flexible wing mount, DS3235 Pro servo, and running on a Radiolink RC8X handset. Um, not much more to say here than we're going to have a battery and bear with me. All right, guys, forgot to say as well, I'm also running these brand new Method uh, Terraform belted tyres. Um, again, uh, part of the reason why I've come to this area is to see how these tyres feel on the car. Um, I want to say a massive thank you to each and every one of you obviously watching the channel, guys. All the likes, shares and subscribes, everything else that goes on at the moment, it doesn't go unnoticed and it really is appreciated. Um, I am planning on doing as many videos as I can now over the next couple of weeks. I, I have got a build coming up on the channel as well, guys, as you probably know. Um, I have picked up a Techno MT410. We're going to do a build on the channel. Um, I really like the way the Technos look, and I understand from talking to many, many people, they are pretty damn strong. Um, oh, this 6S battery. To struggle to get this in here. Right, there you go. Okay, now, um, these Terraforms I've never actually run before, so they're going to be a completely different driving experience, belted tyres on a big basher like this. As I mentioned, we are going to be using the Radiolink RC8X, very much like this handset, it was a present off my wife and daughter, uh, Father's Day, everything all combined into one. Um, I am liking some of the features on the handset and I love how easy it is to use. I have relocated the, hold on, let's just change it. Uh, bear with me. Create an EXB, mode select. Yes, turn the car on. I am using a Team Corelli um, battery mount as well, which I've mounted to the car. There you go, we are on 6S. So I'm monitoring tires, temps, everything. The car has had a, a complete load of work done to it. Um, and I want to kind of get to know this car before we take it to Heatherton. Um, I am planning on taking it down there. There's a few of my mates have got Cretans. They've all updated and upgraded. Uh, change the head cam view and go. Right, okay. I'm hoping this is going to go well, guys. She's 
rip it. Oop, turn it off, off the grass. Guys, we got an issue again. Drive shaft has popped out once again. Oh my God, I can't believe this. I really can't believe it. <sighs> right, pause the video. All right guys, so Nip Dome, um, I've managed to put the drive shaft back in. Now two things have happened since I've been there. As you can see, I've got my tools. Uh, spoken to a couple of friends of mine and the issue they reckon a lot of the problem is there's two little washers on on the ends of the arms here which have taken off right so that'll bring the uh, uh, actual drive shafts in a bit more and i've uh, uh taken away some of the droop on the car all right so what could have been happening is as i'm wheeling is basically the arms are flopping right down and then obviously causing the drive shafts to come out so we're going to give it a go now um i'm going to put the head cam back to normal and then let's give it a run and see what happens shall we Right, okay, let's put some stuff away. Fingers crossed, this is going to go well now. Uh, car, I am running on a China Hobby Lines 6S 5200 mAh 90C pack. I'm hoping now that this is going to solve the problem because I'll be honest with you, the amount of little issues I've had with this car recently, just trying to get it right, is unbelievable. Okay. So And if this solves it guys She's motoring, that's for sure I do like them tyres, not no ballooning at all. Really stable. Tell you what, let's take it inside you. Bit of rough stuff. <laughs> She's definitely motoring now, guys. <laughs> right, grip levels seem pretty decent with these tyres as well. This uh, scented system, the car feels completely different. So this is the same system I had in my Asuga. Um, So I decided to take it out of the Asuga, um, basically, and, and run it in here. No. <laughs> um, ground's quite wet here at the moment still, as you can see. So not really that dusty today, but so far, so good. Keeps traction rolling. <sighs> um, no, 
uh, this was more of a proof concept thing today see if the car's working more of a shakedown so okay She's ripping. Definitely ripping. On the grass, they seemed a little bit slippery on the back end there, eh, mine. Car's nice and stable out over the rough stuff. Plenty of get up and go with mind. Like I say, 15 tooth pinion and an extra 200 kV on the motor. take it back out on the tarmac shall we okay so drive shaft I think might have solved the issue there Drive shaft. Yep, we're still in. Everything's fine. We've got something weird going on with that. Uh, out again. Yeah, drive shafts pop back out, guys. I don't know what is going on by here. Um, pause the video, put it back in. Right, okay, so quick roadside repairs a second. I will say the motor has definitely got some heat twist, so it might drop back down to a 13 tooth fair mine. Uh, fan, uh, it's blowing. I'm not convinced this is helping the matter, mind. Um, let's take this wheel off. Turn the car off. Every time this drive shaft pops out, it's 
causing problems so yeah I don't know I don't know what to do here I really don't um, I think I might maybe possibly look at swapping a, a tow over to a different drive shaft um, maybe that's the issue I don't know I really don't know um, the problem I've got here is I've made so many different changes to this car and it's hard to pinpoint now where this issue is um, maybe I've got some damage to this drive shaft maybe that's what's causing it I can't see anything drive cups not looking brilliant but as you know I've only just put them in so I'm hoping I don't have to replace a drive cup maybe add a bit more droop on the front well, is that the solution uh, let me know in the comments guys because I'm going to pop this back in a sec and I want to carry on running um, what's your thoughts you know why is this actually happening maybe you guys armor guys will actually know why because it is becoming something that I don't look forward to let's put it that way all right i'm getting sick and tired of having to do stuff like this with this car um as you know i've spent a lot of time and a lot of effort trying to make this right and in my opinion um stuff like this really shouldn't be happening why is this getting caught then there you go there you go i don't know you tell me in the comments I mean, fingers crossed we can hopefully sort this out. I am going to turn the car over again and maybe add a bit more droop on it. Maybe it's something to do with the arms. Uh, conclusion with the tyres. They're very good. On grass, um, yeah, they're, they're a little bit slippery on the gra gra uh, grass, to be, to be fair. Um, but that could also be... We have had a lot of wet weather here, so I'm not going to completely blame the tyres. Um, let's do that up fully tight one slight turn any movement wheels are everything's working fine there that's good turn the car over is that a bit more droop uh, sorry take away some droop is what I'm saying. Same again on this side. Put the arm down. Yeah, it's unusual. I have seen this actually documented as well on a few, few of the Facebook pages. People where people are saying the same thing has happened to them. So I'd love to know what your thoughts are, yeah? because I don't want to little problems like this to ruin my experience with this car and I mean let's be honest this should be should be performing absolutely amazingly wheel back on uh, let's tighten the wheel nut up uh, by the way you guys I don't know if you can see by there I do actually use a little bit of Loctite on my wheels um, I clean my stub axles off on a regular basis but uh, it has helped me on many occasions not to lose the wheels. As you know, I went through a phase where I was losing them all the time as well. Right, that's tight. Handsets on. Turn the car back on. There you go. I mean, I'm doing all the necessary steps to make this a fun experience for myself. Do you know, do you know what I'm saying? Um, <laughs> well, overboard, really. Overboard. I mean, a lot of people won't even go as far as they have with, it, with their EXPs. They'll just use them. Um, yeah, so I don't know. Let's adjust this back up. Have I gone too far? Is there too much weight in the car? I don't know. You tell me. Right, we have got four-wheel drive now. Let's lock the car up. Oh yeah, it might help if I close the boot. It's been one of them days.
okay, so that's definitely back in. Bring it back down to me. Take it down on the rough stuff again, tree. I do like the way this car feels though uh, and I don't really want to give up on it I love a Creighton um, I love the work I've done to it I love the experience of having worked on it as much as I have and uh, I just I really don't want to hamper my fun with this vehicle due to some problems I might have had. I would like to know mine guys if you've had this issue with your Creighton um, where this is something I, I should be aware of is there a solution for it nice little power slide there then <laughs> Tyres are starting to come to life a little bit now as well. I don't know whether there's maybe some conformal coating over the top of them, obviously from where they're made. But uh, the grip levels are definitely getting a little bit better there. And maybe you need to turn the brakes down a bit. Nice little bit of uh, rough ground bashing by you. And I think that's actually low voltage, guys. So, not as exciting as I'd like it to be. Uh, um, let me know about the dry shaft issue, guys, if you've had it. There you go, yeah, that's, that's low voltage right there. Now, I think this... Uh, this car definitely needs some work on the pinion mind. I've got a feeling I'm going to go back down to um, the stock pinion, all right, which is a 13, 15. And uh, they, they say not to bash on it. I do, and I think I'm probably right because that motor, I've got a 40 mil fan on there. And uh, she's pretty toasty. She is pretty toasty, mine, I will say that. So. Let's just quickly turn the car off, shall we? Let's 
adjust this back over. Yeah, tyres, motor. Yeah, it's a bit hot. That is being straight with you. Um, ESC Zelda bad movie. So what I've done by the actually, guys, I've actually turned the SE sideways uh, just to help. But yeah, tyres. I like them. I do like them. Um, this drive shaft. It's been a pain in the ass, I'll be honest with you. I've had a few issues with this recently. I just want to get it right, but yeah. I think take that fan guard off because I, I, I don't feel that that's passing much air over it at all. Um, let's turn the car off a second. Take that fan guard off because I really don't think it's sucking that much air through with this guard on top. Uh, it's not really letting the air through. Um, I'll just run this guard, the metal guard I got on top. Uh, turn the handset off. Um, dry shaft. I, I don't know. I mean, I've taken the washer off here, right? So a few people have mentioned about taking it off. So I have taken that off. Do I need to take this bottom one off? Is the question. Uh, I mean, there, there's something that I, obviously you guys in the comments can help me with. Um, hmm. Overall, great. A few little changes left to make. Drop a pinion size. Work out the drive shafts at the front, I think, we're, um, and remove the fan here and possibly maybe add another 40mm fan. Because um, it is a middle of summer year. All right, the temperatures will be on 17 degrees. So I'm not sure what that is for my friends in the States, but uh, it's not overly warm, um, but quite nice. I mean, obviously, we don't really have a great deal of droop going on there, no mind either. So, steering. Yeah, I'm going to work on the front end a little bit more. But, uh, I mean, overall, still happy. Uh, let's go up top. Hey guys, welcome back. So, what do you think? Creating the XB version 2. Uh, I've done tons of changes to this. And that, that drive shaft issue that I'm having, uh, it shouldn't be doing that sort of thing. I don't know why it's doing it. Um... Maybe some some of you guys in the comments can actually let me know. Um, right, let's... Tyres. I've got no issues with the tyres. They seem to be kind of coming to life a little bit. Uh, quite grippy. The back end of the car might need a little bit of work. It's, um, I noticed that the back end was getting a little bit loose at times. Custom RC upgrades, braces. Car feels nice and rigid. Um, power system. Tons of power. I've got no problems with that. I'm quite happy with that. Again, drive shaft. Um, I am going to get rid of the fan guard. Uh, I don't feel that that's helping in the slightest. I'm being straight with you. Um, great idea, just doesn't seem to work because when I felt underneath by there, then there was no way of passing through. Uh, oh, that's not going to help, man. Look at that great big stone under there. Massive stone in there. Um, handset, as per usual, working lovely. Other than the drive shaft and a little bit of heat. I think we're golden guys, I really do. Um I do like the crate and I don't want it to to make my experience with the car uh less than positive. But when you spend that sort of money on the vehicle and you are having a few issues, it does get you down look. This is obby. We we put our pour our heart and souls into these cars and building them. Um some people don't even bother doing that, they just run them and uh, you know more more power to you guys. But um, I do like building the cars the way I do. Um, one thing I will say, one of the things is still holds up brilliantly, like this wing mount. Um, a few times I've dumped it. Massive shout out to Tyson from Garage Life RC. Guys, honestly, please check it out. I, I'm not saying this just for the sake of saying it, but um, the wing mount out on the EXB, on my Asuga, and also on um, well, on the Typhon, um, they've all had their issues. I put the Garage Life RC wing mounts on and everything's banging. Right, I want to say a massive thank you to each and every one of you obviously watching the channel. All the likes, shares and subscribes that goes on, absolutely amazing. Honestly, you don't realise, guys, I feel so humbled. Humbled to have you come along and watch me just basically piss around with cars there's no other way of describing it um call to action if you like the videos give me a thumbs up 
Um, if you like the channel loads and you're not subscribed, subscribe, don't cost you anything. I'm gonna continue to make the videos I do. Um, I hope you're enjoying coming along for the ride. Massive shout out to each and every one of you. Check the box for more videos. Till next time, guys, stay awesome. I'll catch you later.